Hello violin learners! Today I will show you how to tune your violin properly. To tune your violin properly, you need to know two parts of the violin. The first part are the fine tuners here. They are the little turning knobs here. The second part is the pack. They are for large adjustments. The fine tuners are for small adjustments of the pitch. That means if you turn the fine tuners, the pitch will change little by little. The pegs are for large adjustment of the violin. That means if you turn the pegs, the pitch will change drastically. Some basic theory is that if the strings are tightened, they vibrate faster and the pitch gets higher, like a rubber band. If you tighten the band, you get faster in vibrating and the pitch gets higher. Vice versa, if the string is loosened, like this, you are a slower and the pitch gets lower, if you can hear it. Practice tuning the fine tuners first. This is the basic mechanism of the fine tuner. The screw, the baseball, and the lever here, hooking the strings. If you turn the fine tuner in a clock right direction, it draws the bass bar more deep, so the lever is pulled, and the strings is tightened, results in getting higher of the pitch. If the fine tuner is turned in an anti-clockwise direction, the bass bar will rise. And the lever is turning away. So the strings is loosened and the pitch gets lower. Try again. Clock right direction. Bass bar becomes deeper. Lever rise and the string is pulled and the pitch gets higher. And vice versa. Anti clockwise direction. Bass bar rises. String loosened, pitch gets lower. For beginners, use the tuner to assist you. To begin with, you should know the names of the four strings. They are from left to right G, D, A, and E. For the tuner, there are two basic methods. One is the indicator. There is a pointer telling you whether the notes you play is correct or not. When the pointer is in the middle and the green light is on, the note is correct. Just like this. The sound will be a little bit fluctuating as there are some basic background noise. But if it generates a sound that is always at the middle, like this, that this is correct. When the red light is on and the pointer is on the left side, that means the note is too low. For example, like this. If the note gets too low, turn your fine tuner in a clockwise direction and play again. Like this. And the pointer is nearer to the middle. At this time, you have to continue turning and play. Until the pointer gets into the middle. And the green light is always on. If the red light is on and the pointer is on the right hand side, the note is too high. Like this. This time, you need to turn your fine tuner in an anti clockwise direction in order to get a lower pitch. So you turn it and play again. Like this. 
Another method is to hear the sound played by the tuner. The tuner will generate a fixed pitch for you and tune the strings while hearing the sound. For example, if the tuner is playing the A note, we tune the A string like this. Can you play it? If the sounds are the same, your note is correct. For the pegs of the violin, they are the parts where the head of the strings are rolled on. To tune the violin, you turn your pegs in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Same as the fine tuners, turn the peg clockwise to make a higher tune and vice versa, turn it anti-clockwise to make a lower pitch, just like this. The pitch gets higher and higher, drastically. To turn anti-clockwise, the pitch gets lower drastically. The peg is easily loosened or gets too tight because at the other end of the peg, there are peg holes and if you don't tighten it, you get loose drastically and the pitch will get so much lower than normal. One solution is that when you're turning the peg clockwise, make sure you put another hand on the other side of the neck. When you turn the peg, push it into the peg hole here at the same time. So, turn and push at the same time. So it drills deep into the peg hole on the other side. Now, we will have to run through of the whole tuning process. First of all, grab your violin bow, of course, and your tuner here. We will tune the A string first. A string here, the third to the left. Okay, A string. It's too low on A, so. Turn your fine tuner here, clock right direction to get it higher, play it, still too low, clock rise, a little more bit, a little bit more, bingo, correct, okay, too low, use your peg. A little bit low, use a fine tuner. Anti clockwise to turn it lower, clockwise to turn it higher until the green light is on. And a method, the sound, the sound here, play A string, listen to it, if the same. That's the correct thing. The next string you need to tune is the D string. So, D string here. A little bit too low. You can use a pet. Turn and play at the same time for advanced players. G string, turn and play at the same time. The last string you need to tune, E string. So it's too low. Turn with the fine tuner. And then green light is on. Make sure to play the bow with a steady bow and get a steady sound for the tuner to tune. Thanks for your watching. Have a nice tuning day.